Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look. It's a reverse smoky eye. So I did the smoke on the bottom and the light color on the top. I tried to do a cut crease, didn't work out. So we just improvised and did this and I think it looks really great. This lip color is bombastic. I used the new MAC Lip Tensity Burnt Violet. Like this video if you want me to do a swatch video of all the MAC Lip Tensity colors, because I can, but I need to know if you guys want me to do it, so like this video, so I'll know if you guys want me to do the MAC Lip Tensity lip swatches, okay? If you guys want to know what's going on with my hair, I did make an update video, so you guys can check that out. That'll be in the cards section up here, or I'll put a link in the description box, or just look on my channel, because it's, it's going to be there, so... Friday. Let's review this foundation. I have the Hourglass Foundation Stick Her. This is the Warm Almond and the Golden Almond. I'm gonna be using Gold Almond because Golden Almond because Warm Almond is a little bit too warm for me. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna apply that to my face. I normally do strokes on the outer portion of my face and then work inwards. I do this because I don't like to use a ton of product. I don't need a lot of foundation on the inner portion of my face. And this is the Hourglass brush. I don't know what the name of the brush is, but it came with the package that was sent to me. I just feel like if I use less foundation, it's less likely to get oily throughout the day. And it just looks more natural. Plus, I usually apply concealer all in this era. So... I don't really need a lot of foundation there anyway. And then once I like, you know, finish buffing out the main majority part, I will go in the center and kind of like smooth it over those areas that I did not apply it to. I'm gonna come back um, and let you guys see the finished result. <laughs>
So I'm done with my makeup now. I took my sweet precious time because I wanted to do like a really cool fall makeup look. Um, so this is what I came up with. I am in love with this glossy, like shiny, dark lip. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the foundation. I've been wearing it for the past couple weeks now and I've really been, <laughs> lipstick on the teeth. I've really been enjoying it. This is the Vanish Foundation Stick. Um, it is like this triangle shaped foundation stick that I've talked about on my channel before actually. I think I've shown it to you in my Vicky Vibes adulting video and I've also shown you a swatch in a previous Foundation Friday video which was I believe the Anastasia stick foundation video. I wanted to talk to you guys about this foundation as I have tried it and compare it to other foundations. I actually have two of these. I have the colors Warm Almond and Golden Almond. Golden Almond is more my shade. The brush does not come with the foundation, but it is a part of the set that I received um, with these foundations in it. Honestly, if you have a buffing brush, you could probably just get away with using any buffing brush. I am really, 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 really liking this foundation. I feel like it's very, very beautiful on the skin. I feel like it's smoothing. It gives a beautiful finish. It looks beautiful in photos. It has a good color range. I like that the shades are not too ashy, not too pink or red. I feel like the shade selection is very nice and you get a good amount of shades. Um, to choose from. The thing that I love most about this foundation is that it's very very wearable. Um, you can wear it for special occasions, you can wear it for every day for work or school, um, but it is expensive. It is $46 I believe which is a lot for a foundation but if you are into foundations like that I would definitely go say go for it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills one is a lot more oil controlling. However, I feel like the satin finish of this foundation gives a more beautiful finish. It kind of transforms the appearance of your skin. I feel like it makes my skin look a thousand times better. I have really textured skin. I think that's why it's called a vanish foundation obviously because it makes my pores vanish. The only thing about a stick foundation is you can't get a sample of it but I would say go to the store and see how it, you like it and see how it feels on you. It's very comfortable. It feels really comfortable but it doesn't give off a shiny appearance. It doesn't give off a oily or greasy appearance. The Mega Forever Ultra HD foundation stick when I put it on I can see the creaminess. This one is a lot more satiny. It just goes on so soft and buttery, you know, it slides on like butter. So I feel like it works really well for all skin types because of that. It lasts a long time. I don't notice a ton of creasing or sliding or movement when I wear this foundation. In fact, I notice it less than other foundations that I wear. My laugh lines and my frown lines and things like that, this foundation does not settle into those lines. That's why I really, really like it because it stays freaking put, you know what I'm saying? Really my only issue with this foundation is the price. I just feel like a stick foundation is gonna last you a long time because you're not overusing product. I feel like with liquid foundations, um, cream foundations, any foundation that you pump out or squeeze out, I end up squeezing out too much, pumping out too much, wasting product. Also, when you have bottles and things like that, it's hard to get all of the product out. With a stick foundation, you can use it all the way up until the end of the stick. Like I said, I really like the natural finish of it. I like that it's not drying. I like that it doesn't make me look flat. For like my everyday go-to, like everyday makeup look, I tend to wear stick foundations because they're easier to apply, they're quicker to apply, and they look the most natural. This stick foundation is the most natural stick foundation that I have. I haven't got the right color in my Anastasia foundation yet, but as far as the feeling on my skin and how it looks and appears and the coverage, I feel like this is more full coverage, so you're getting a little bit more for your money. But then again, it's double the price of the Anastasia foundation, so if you don't wanna spend that money, you could just put on double of the Anastasia foundation. I also feel like this is gonna be my go-to foundation in the winter time. As it gets colder outside, I have to use more hydrating products that aren't gonna dry out my skin because my skin goes completely haywire. So I have to make sure that I'm moisturizing, I'm keeping my skin as healthy and glowy and 
supple as possible. So using products that are a little bit more on the satin finish side are what I look for um, in a foundation in the wintertime. So I definitely feel like it'll hold up a lot better in those kind of weather conditions. I haven't tried it with a beauty blender. I've only tried it with the brush that it came with. I will try it with a beauty blender and see how I like it, but I honestly feel like you get a lot better coverage when you use a buffing brush as opposed to a beauty blender. The coverage isn't crazy full, but it's definitely full. But that's basically it. I love this foundation. I think you guys should give it a try if you are on the market for a foundation that performs well and is worth the money. This is the foundation I've been using every single day since like three weeks ago. If we're gonna be honest, this is my favorite, currently my favorite stick foundation. That could change, that could change. Oh, what time is it? Um, 6.20, I will be back in a couple hours, probably about four or five hours to show you guys what it looks like when it has settled down. So this is my face update. It is 11.21, 11.21. So that is five hours. I'm shiny, but when am I not? Like I said, this is not oil controlling foundation, but even though my skin is like really shiny right now, I still look kind of litty though. No creasing, no laugh lines, no movement. If I powdered my face, I'm pretty sure I would look good. Just take a brush and just dab, you know? Boom, it looks like I just applied it. That's why it's my favorite. This is why, this is why, not bad, so. Yeah, that's it.